Zorba, Dwayne, welcome to the Great Huddersfield Town Hadfields Bake Off. Are you excited? Yes. Zorba, do you bake much at home? How would you rate your baking skills? Minus 10. Minus 10? Yeah. You don't bake much then? Um, well, I'll just buy them from that like, Tesco now. Always a winner. This could be interesting today then. And Dwayne, you're a local lad. You've probably visited Hadfields many times. Is there a go-to item that you like to order when you're treating yourself or your friends or your family? A little chocolate brownie, I think. Solid choice, yeah. I like that. Without further ado, let's get stuck into this first challenge. First challenge is the signature speed round, where you will have to replicate a classic Hadfields ham salad sandwich. So, on this table in front of us, we've got a selection of ingredients. A lot of them are the correct ones, but there are also some red herrings thrown in there. You each have two minutes to do the sandwich, and the one that is the closest to the original one will be the winner, and that will be judged by Tracy, one of the store manageresses. So if you would like to come down here and grab an apron, get prepared. Lovely Hadfield's apron for you right there. Uh, we've only got one size, I'm afraid. Your two minutes starts now. You go, <laughs> I'm not picking up till you do. Two minutes isn't very long, I would suggest getting a move on. <laughs> yeah, what's this for? I'll grab that. Yeah, grab that. Yeah, grab this bit too. Interesting no one's gone for the bread. Coming back. <laughs> you get that one? Please don't run with knives either. So Dwayne is cutting his bread open. He's got the ham. That's a good, good staple in a ham salad sandwich. Saw that. Oh, yeah. Struggling yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Oh my God! Watch your fingers, please, please. Oh. Let's not have any injuries. Sorba's gone for the ham, cucumber, lettuce, and beetroot. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Slight variations on ingredients, but which one would be the right one? So we've just got a minute remaining now. You're halfway through. Dwayne's building his sandwich nicely. Sorba hasn't currently got anything in the bread yet, but got laid some ham down, brilliant. Dwayne's going back for more ingredients. He's putting door stops in there. Got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, a last dash of mustard in there for Dwayne, great. We're both left out butter though, innit? So it's time to judge whose sandwich is the closest to a Hadfield's ham salad sandwich. Here's Tracy to judge the results. Judging just by a tea cake and that the cucumber is in about two inches thick. The winner, I pick to Dwayne. Congratulations, Dwayne. Well done. No, Clauber, let's hope you can do better on the next challenge. Welcome to round two, which is the technical round. In this round, you'll have to design and decorate three identical cupcakes. The time you'll have to take is how long it takes your opponent to answer 10 questions, which will test football and baking knowledge. You will be judged on your aesthetic and how identical your three cupcakes are. So, when you're ready, let's go. So, Dwayne, you're up first. Sorba, you're answering the questions. First question. A baguette is sometimes called a what stick? French. Yes, correct. Who is the current manager of the French national team? Is it something Blanc? Blanc? No, no. Oh, Didier. <laughs> There's a little clue there. What, Drogba? Ah, oh, we need <laughs> Not quite, not quite. How do you spell croissant? Oh, no. Croissant. It begins coffee. with a C. Oh, C-R-O-U-I-T. Oh. No. Okay, what did I spell? Which team won the championship last year? Oh, God. Oh, four? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, Fulham. Yes, correct. How many is a baker's dozen? A hundred. A bit less. Twelve. Higher. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wears the number 12 shirt for town this season? Boily? Yes, correct. Which royal gave their name to a type of sponge cake? Diana? No, <laughs> she was... <laughs> <laughs> Which championship team are nicknamed the Royals? The Ready. same, yes. Name three different types of pastry. White, blue. <laughs> oh, I think that would give you food Chicken. poisoning. Chicken pastry? Yeah. Uh, Thin crust. 
You've got one more question to decorate your cakes. Which famous Paul is a judge on the Great British Bake Off, or was? Paul? Yeah. Oh no, he still is, actually. George? George Paul. Yeah? Paul, <laughs> no, no. Paul is his first name. Oh, Paul Hollywood. Yeah! That is it, your time is up, Dwayne. Dwayne, it's time for your questions. Number one, name two ingredients you need to make bread. Water. Yeah. Oil. Yeah, that'll do. What? Barra Brith is a traditional bread from which UK country? England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Wales is correct, yep. Wales. Which current, which current Huddersfield town player has the most senior caps for Wales? Oh, I forgot what that is all. <laughs> um, Starbuck. Correct. How do you spell profiterole? P R O. Yep. F. Mm hmm. F. Uh, slash. I. Yep. T. Yep. T. E. Yep. R. Yep. R O L L. Almost. How many is half a baker's dozen? Six and a half? Yes, correct. Who wears the number six shirt for town this season? Ah, uh, John Boy Mate. Hoggy? Yes, <laughs> correct. What fruit traditionally tops a Bakewell tart? Cherry. Correct. Which current town player played for the cherries between 2017 and 2019? Connor Mahoney. Correct. Which fruit is used in a banoffee pie? Banana. Correct. And final question. Tiramisu is made of sponge lady fingers dipped in what? Coffee. Correct. And that is time up. They look very good, actually. That one on the left in particular was yeah, stunning. You know what it is? I, I took a lot of time in this one, and then the rest, obviously, I thought he was getting, he was getting the questions right, so I had to rush, and, and then this is what happens. I wasn't able to do the curly whirly stuff, but I'm happy with my thing, and I'd like to get the W, please. Very impressive. Well, let's see who the next judge decides is the winner. So, Dawn is here to judge the cupcake. Tell us who the winner is. This one, yeah, it's got the blue, it's got the white. You've covered more of the bun, that's good. Yeah, I think it's Sorba. Well done, Sorba, well you have won round two. So that means it'll be neck and neck going into the deciding round. So after two rounds, it is a draw and it is time for the final round, which is the showstopper. So here you have plain gingerbread and your challenge is to make a life portrait of your opponent. Um, so the judges will be looking for you to be as creative as possible with these toppings here and they will be looking to see if it would be fit for one of Hadfield's 12 local stores. So when you're ready, you've got three minutes, off you go. Interesting, Sorba, how you haven't actually looked at Dwayne to see what he might look like. I've been with that man for too long. I already know what he looks like. So Dwayne's gone straight away for the icing, whereas Sorba has chosen... The beard. Gone for the beard first. <laughs> that, that is clearly your central feature of your face. Dwayne's now going for strawberry laces. For the hair, it seems, OK. <laughs> Maybe slightly insulting, but never mind. We're halfway there. Make sure that you guys finish on time. We want them to actually look like faces. We're halfway there. Halfway there, yep. Oh, we're living on a prayer. Mm. If only your baking was as good as your singing. Mm, good, isn't it? Both gone for different approaches. Oh my god, that is actually scary. Sorba's portrait is very scary. Stay away, kids. <laughs> Okay, time is almost up. 30 seconds left. Really bringing out your artistic sides. 10 seconds left. Final touches now. For our final challenge to see who is gonna win our Bake Off. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. And there we have it, our final challenge is over. So here we have the judge of our final round, Dan. He is one of the owners of Hadfield Bakery. Our prize for this little competition 
Uh, it's going to be a, a, a nice bun uh, with one of your guys' faces on it that will sell in our uh, Hadfield store. Every time you pop into one of the stores, you'll be able to see your face. So what I've done about, Dwayne's got lovely features. So I've got his beard. Obviously, everyone's mouth is red. Obviously, he's got the curls. I tried to curl as much as I could, but I ate one. Gone for, obviously, a bright red lip, as you can see. And then, obviously, the beard obviously doesn't connect all the way, so I've gone very thin and wispy on the beard. He normally wears some shiny earrings, so I've thrown that in there for dramatic effect. And as you can see, I've gone very realistic on the hair. He's got four little worms coming out the side of his head, so we've gone for four on each side. Great, well, I hope there's no points deducted for insulting your opponent, but anyway. So, Dan, would you like to declare the winner of this challenge and the winner of the Bake Off, please? For the winner of the challenge and the winner of the Bake Off, I would go with the abstract version of Soy McDonald's. Fix, absolute fix. It was a no-brainer. You already knew from the beginning who was going to win. Um, for the people that doubted me at the beginning, um, listen, I can't swear on here, but you know what I want to say, and thank you, and it's emotional, you know? Yeah, if you want to get yourself to Hadfields and suffer seeing Sauber's face more than you need to, then that's on you. I mean, I think mine was very realistic, and I think, listen, I'm not bitter. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> um, I tried my best, but there you go. Well, thank you, Dwayne and Sorba, for taking part in the Great Huddersfield Town Hadfields Bake Off today. And look out for Sorba's face in your local Hadfields store. Thanks for watching. Get down to Hadfields.